Fascination is growing after a Racine man joined forces to fight ISIS terrorists. Now a local historian weighs in on the significance of his efforts. New at 6, WISN 12 News, Hillary Mintz tells us why he's watching this man's moves very closely. While Jordan Matson is far from his home in southeast Wisconsin, his actions are being closely watched here. I learned about the YPG on Facebook. That was Matson last week, speaking to a Kurdish to journalist. Now the case high school it. rat is telling USA Today the transition to help the Kurdish army fight ISIS has been easy, saying, quote, they don't pay me, but they treat me like family. If I need anything, they look after me. Matson also told the paper that he became angry after Marquette grad James Foley was executed, saying, quote, it wasn't until an American was beheaded did we do anything. We just let the monster grow and grow. The FBI tells 12 News they're aware of Matson and they're looking into it, especially as posts continue to spread on social media. These are really unique circumstances. Retired Marquette history professor and FBI expert Ethan Theo Harris says he's not surprised Matson's on the FBI's radar. There's this concern about Americans going overseas and then coming back. And so the, the, the interest is to, to ensure that individuals who are motivated to fight overseas might also be motivated to come back and pose a threat within the United States. Theo Harris also says throughout the past century, there have been very few cases of Americans leaving the country to fight for a cause or foreign government they have zero ties to. In this case, what you have is a, is a local boy who is involved in what becomes a high-profile concern. I mean, I don't think he really thought through the consequence of his action in terms of American policy. Also in the USA Today article, Matson talked about how the Kurdish forces are very young. They don't have any big weapons. He only carries one automatic rifle. Meanwhile, Matson's family has declined our requests for interviews. At the WISN.com Center, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. Now, according to U.S. Army publication, a U.S. Army publication, Matson served from 2006 to 2007, but it never said why he left the military.